How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to reset your iPad Air back to factory settings. Real quick process, we're going to go right over to our settings. From settings we're going to go to general. And then we're going to swipe down until we get to the bottom where it says reset. Tap on reset. From there you're going to tap on the second option which says erase all current, excuse me, it says erase all content and settings. Now, so that's normally what you want to tap. Before we do that, make sure you go to iCloud. And what you want to do is go to storage and backup. And you want to tap backup now. So some of you may say my iPad, my iCloud isn't set up yet. That's okay. This is a good time to set it up. So to set it up on this screen, when you tapped iCloud, there should have been an option here to sign in. If you don't have an account, there will be an option that says to set up one. So you do want to set up an iCloud account first. And what that's going to do is it's going to synchronize everything on your iPad. So notes, apps, uh, photos, it will back up all that information as well as contacts so that if you ever had to log out of the iPad, maybe if you were to uh, get it stolen or let's say if you were decided that you wanted to switch with someone because their iPad maybe had more storage, you could back up all your information to iCloud and then you could erase it and then go to the new iPad, sign in, and it would put all that information back on the iPad. So that's why you always want to back up to iCloud first. So it's literally just tapping iCloud storage and backup and letting it do the backup alright guys so the backup is complete and the way you know it's done is it will say last backed up and it will have the time so this is 1027 is 1028 so our backup is done to iCloud so now that we know our information is secure we can get to it we're gonna go back to general go down to reset then we're gonna go to erase all content and settings so tap on there it's going to say this will delete all media and data and reset all settings. We're going to tap erase. Are you sure you want to continue? All media data and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. Tap erase. It will ask you to enter your Apple ID password and that is the last step we'll have to remove for this. No offense. Love you guys. So you will need your Apple ID in order to do this. So if you're trying to erase someone's iPad without them knowing, if you don't know the code, then you're out of luck. And that's it. So from here, it's going to take anywhere from 30 seconds to about 5 minutes. And basically what it's doing is it's going to erase all the information off the iPad. It's going to reset all the drivers like it when it was first, like when it was first set up. And then it will take you right back to the screen where it will ask you to select the uh, language. And that will be when the iPad is officially reset back to factory settings. Now, reasons people want to do this, one is obviously you may want to sell it to someone. You don't want to give it to them with the information on it. You also might be returning it to the store and may have decided you want to get a bigger size or maybe a different tablet. Well, you definitely want to erase your information off there because if not, you're going to give your tablet away with your possibly your email sent on there, maybe some personal photos. So you definitely want to be careful that your information is not compromised. The only way to do that is to make sure that you protect yourself. You'll, you will always look out for yourself better than someone else will. So definitely recommend this uh, little precaution here. Now... Um, even if you're going to give it to a family member, you still want to erase your information off there because you don't want your emails coming through to, for them to see it. Because again, uh, anything that you had on the iPad will still be on there if you do not factory reset. So obviously you're watching this video because you do want to factory reset. So, hey, and this is it. We are done. When you see the Ola screen, that's how you know that you have been officially, you're finished. And now your iPad is back to factory settings. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. Subscribe to HU Tech Videos. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash H2 Tech Videos. And follow us on Instagram at H2 Tech Videos. Take care. And once again, keep watching. All right? Have a good one.